So how old is this cat? Bro, I wish I could tell you that. <laughs> It came with it. In July, it came with it. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty good view, though. Yeah, we like it. That's not the reason. Really. All right. So, what's the plan now today? <laughs> um, well, I gotta pick this. I gotta pick this beast up. Which so is Lauren's car. So yeah, they start charging at what, 9 o'clock and 20 seconds? Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna <laughs> pick this thing up like now. How come you parked it down here? Um, well, because the Optigan's right there. And oh, we, that makes sense, that's we, the main center. And we went to the pub. Yeah, okay. So, and this is free parking up until now. Until now? So, oh, at night time, um, okay. Do you want me to guide you to York Place? Yeah, I'll just follow you. Okay. I have an idea, but it'll be easier for you. Or for me, at least. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I'll see you there. I'll, I'll just follow you. I can help you guys yeah. out for um, the rest of your travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, my plan today is go to Wanaka Lake, and then after that, I'll decide between either the glacier or Milford Sound, I think. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll make a little plan yeah. sober at the house. Okay, go. sounds good. <laughs> Alright, there's the car. So now we're going to go pick up Hunter, and then we're going to go have breakfast. Your camera. Yeah. We make videos of this shit. So, <laughs> okay, so at the beginning of the trip, I'm always like kind of fat, a little bit lazy, and the end of it, I'm always just like cut up, rock hard, completely tired, and I, I need like a week of rest to, to get over whatever the hell we were just doing. Yeah, I like give the example of Nepal. Oh, what do you do? Like, yeah, so like, okay. <laughs> we do, so you call me too. He'll call me at like. He'll call me like the day before, like the day before we left, three days before we left on this trip. He calls me up and he's like, "Hey, we'll go to New Zealand." I was like, "Okay, yeah, all right." I look at my, I look at my, like, oh, okay, it's, I guess it's time to go on another trip. <laughs> I like Nepal. Yeah, the day before he's leaving, he's like, "You want to go climb Mount Everest?" I was like, "Um, holy shit, sweetie, <laughs> like, can we go?" Uh, and yeah, I mean, so you got to do your base camp Mount Everest. Yeah, we did base camp. And it was actually really easy. It was actually easy really for. Easy. Apparently, oh, I don't want to like take any credit, but apparently Everest is an easy mountain. Easier like, than easy, Kilimanjaro. Easy, yeah, it's an easy route. It's, it's obviously it not easy because it's so high. No, but, but it's, it's it, yeah, it's super. You easy. Walk, you don't climb it. You kind of walk it. Yeah, well, this is, we're talking base camp because if you're gonna go to the very top, you need like ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars. It's like, expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, like, to, the way to, that they tend to make you do it is stupid. What Jay was selling uh, in one of those countries, I can't kind of Bhutan, Bhutan, Bhutan. You have to like, pay them the border, every day you're there. You have to pay. To yeah, it's a two hundred bucks yeah. per day fee. So if just you're there, you gotta make sure. Yeah, just to be there, it's like a yeah. like a daily visa. I forgot about that. Yeah, you were talking about that. I didn't realize it was two hundred dollars a day. I thought it was two hundred dollars. US as well. So and you know, there's a seven year waiting list for Bhutan or something. No, that's. That was false. Okay. That wasn't true. Okay. <laughs> seven year waiting list. We thought there was a seven year waiting list, but then I contact the tour agency. Hey, can I book a tour? They said, yeah, you can book a tour. Just give us half the deposit and then we'll book it. Yeah. And then meet us in Nepal, pay the rest of the deposit, and then uh, we'll give you flight tickets and you get to go. Yeah. You get them everywhere. But that's what they're I mean, I don't want to make excuses, but half of it is we're far away. You guys found out yourself flying in. Yeah, it's hard to get here. It's super hard <laughs> to get here. It's too much. I mean, just getting off the island is hard. Like, you got to spend easily $300 just to get off the island. Like, yeah. to the next yeah. island. To the, to the, to the to south island. To where you can start. Because yeah, I live, yeah. when I was yeah. living on Baranoff Island in Sitka, that's southeast Alaska. It's just as remote <laughs> yeah. as this place. Yeah. It's with like... You've got to you know have to take two planes just to get to a city where you can fly somewhere. This is a, this is just... Here's the kiwi bird. That's exactly it. All of those is like dairy in the dip. But there's a bakery up here, which is pretty good. I just hope they've still got stuff left. Oh, cool. Uh, ask him about the kiwi bird. <laughs> okay. What about the kiwi bird? What, what is kiwi? <laughs> what is a kiwi? We can't find one. We can't you, find you, them anywhere. You won't, you won't find them. Really? We were uh, looking for them. We yeah. thought they'd be everywhere. No, no, I didn't think they'd be everywhere. I didn't think they'd be nocturnal. If you go to Stewart Island, you might catch them. Yeah, but they're oh. nocturnal creatures. Yeah, that's what they And they're, they're, I mean, rare as fuck. Yeah, yeah. uh, Stewart Island would be a bit They do appear in the nature and like, Place that milk and sound sure you have one, but you're not you're not going to have one. Have yeah. you seen one? Oh, yes, I have, and, and at the zoo, and at like um, so we, yeah. the enclosures you can see them. They look fuzzy, don't they? They're like kind of like fuzzy little puffballs yeah, yeah. <laughs> with like a long beak. I don't really want to see one. We should go to the zoo. Yeah, we should. That's the only place. The zoo has one. There'll be spots around. Oh, that smells one. good. 
Oh, you took us to a good spot. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, mm. got some good stuff in it. Yeah, but, but you're about to indulge in a pie and a coffee, which is iconic. You will. Yeah, coffee, all right. Vegetables. Okay. <laughs> well, these are nice flowers. These are beautiful. What's the name of the flowers? Oh, look at this. What is that? Parsley? Parsley? Yeah. They have some mint. You got mint. <laughs> Mint is awesome. I have to rip it up. This is interesting. Like is this, this is like this That's is the baby one. There's like These two kinds of mint, huh? Yeah, this is this that is. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll go hard. Spearmint. It'll, it'll turn into that eventually. Oh, well. God, that's beautiful. It's gonna, <laughs> yeah, smells good. What's this one called? This is uh, really hydrangea. Cool. Is that kale? It's silver beet. Silver? Silver root beet. Silver beet. Silver beet. Silver beet. Silver beet. Silver beet. <laughs> like that one. These leaves are new. Like they weren't there yesterday. I found out about the cool, this cool plant called wood sorrel. I don't know if you guys had that down here. It's like this weird, it's, it grows like tubers. I don't know though, like there's some other, it could just be the leaves that are Yeah, do you know what that name is? What is this one? Ivy, bro. That's not that good. That's ivy? Yeah, that's fucking bad. That's pretty bad. It's everywhere as well though. That's what you need to get rid of. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to, but like, it, 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 it it's, like, this used to be all bush. Oh yeah? See the big trunk? We cut it a bit. It's yeah. just growing back like... So now we're exploring your backyard, huh? Yeah, now we're exploring. <laughs> I'm surprised jungle. you haven't been down there. Um, Hunter will explore it. I've been down there a bit. <laughs> yeah? But not like, not to the depths. What do you think it is? I, th I thought it was ginger, but I don't know. See, ginger has a very similar type of, uh, like, structure to it. This is completely native, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's native. Beautiful. It's coming off the burn, so it probably is. Yeah. We had a bunch of material back here. That's the that's the hard part. Yeah, back here. So like, I want to build a big bear, good start. Yeah. Biodegradable. What? The bags? No, nah, nah, it's like can. Oh, it's like canvas. Yeah. Some of them are. Oh yeah, so it is. So you could literally take those and then spray them down with like an oyster mushroom inoculate or something like that, or something to catalyze composting. Make yeah. a big pile of it. About the whole industry. Pollen or anything. Oh, totally. It's like... They just bumblebee stuff. Not really honeybees. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, that girl from last night knows all about bees. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she and, studies. And? Yeah. Oh, is this shitty girl with red hair? <laughs> no. Who's that? Yoga. Shitty girl with red hair, was it? No, no, the, the, oh. the shitty girl. <laughs> she, was she the girl? <laughs> <laughs> it was the girl with red hair. No, she, she does cancer research. Oh. Um, the ultra, the ultra, <laughs> dark, ultra Dutch. Ultra Dutch. Oh yeah, yeah. That guy's just drunk on honey. He is just wasted on honey. Look at him. He has enough pollen on his legs, huh? <laughs> Heavy time. load, man. I heard some of the steepest streets are here in the Neden. Yeah, this is nuts. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Look at that. This has got to be like a. 15 or 20, I don't know. No, 15, the maximum record 19, here is 19. But that, this has got to be at least in the teens. 15, 15 maybe 16 degrees. Like, yeah, it's not one of the steepest, but it is. Like, this is like a ski hill. <laughs> <laughs> so think this, about would be this. Like a, this would be a decent blue, maybe a black. All right, let's do it. Maybe drive the car. <laughs> don't forget your brakes. Okay. <laughs> oh my. We're going to the Dunedin Botanical Garden. It's really beautiful. Right now we got some cloud cover, so not the best. But Hunter is extremely excited about this. This is gonna take us all day. <laughs> no. Really? I, it, check this out, this was 1863. Yeah. This is probably one of the oldest gardens on the island, I don't even know. It's, it's In the amazing. whole country. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not, but it's still amazing. That's what he said. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, man, this is so cool. All right, where are where's the birds? We're right here. Botanical Garden Center. The going. Avery. Yeah, Avery, right there. So we want to go. You're here. We want to go left. Or we want to go. These look like Devil's Club. I wonder what they are. Can you stand next to it to show how large it is? Yeah. This thing is huge. Looks like we have these in Southeast Alaska. I'm sure they're not the same one. 
Can the leaf fit underneath you? I don't want to get near that. Those things are super irritating to your skin. Really? Yeah, we have some of these growing in my dad's house. In the yard. Is that how big your pumpkin leaf was? Uh, not that big. <laughs> God damn. Here we have ponderosa pine on display at the botanical gardens. Looks like we're getting to the Avery area. That's where they house all the birds. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a budgie. Here's a nice bird. Yeah. Hey birdies. They're so colorful. Look this way. Hey buddy. Hey buddy old pal. This guy is really sleepy. This guy is more awake. This is the South Island Kaka. Well, there he goes. He's got to go back to his home. This is an interesting bird. Oh. Hey, buddy, old pal. Hey. Oh, beautiful bird. This is so cool. So, good morning, man. Good morning to you. It's actually afternoon, but good day. <laughs> My good sir. Where are we? Where are we? We're here at this botanical gardens of Dunedin. Yeah. And we're visiting the bird sanctuary. It's an aviary, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. Watch out, it's slippery. All of the trees here are labeled. They're beautiful. Trees. In all directions. It's incredible. This, this is, is probably, I would think that if you're gonna go to the out, like the South Island, you'd want to come to a place like this first. Yeah. Because it'd give you kind of more of an understanding of the kind of biodiversity you're looking at. There's like tons of different kinds of eucalyptus trees. I didn't even know there were that many. <laughs> There's so many uh, yeah, different amazing little shrubs and plants and birds. It's great. This is one of the oldest botanical gardens in New Zealand. Yeah. Cool. Good place for families to come out, I guess, too, on the weekends. Yeah. Did you want to walk through here? Yeah. Check this out. Okay, let's go this way. Everything's labeled. Yeah. Here's the eucalyptus forest. What do you think about the botanical gardens here? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> so many different varieties of flowers, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. What are these big white ones? I, uh, are those big daisies? Daisies. <laughs> I was gonna say daffodils. <laughs> just like, wait, no, those are not daffodils. What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, there's some really incredible stuff here. I wonder, I wonder where the tulips are. Um, they're in the north. Look this no, one. Tasmania. Here's an interesting one. I think I, I want to say that daffodils, I talked to the guy last night who was from Tasmania. Oh, yeah. He was saying that daffodils are from Tasmania. Oh, okay. Did you see any when you were there? Well, I was there in the winter. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But look, summertime, there's all these flowers. All these flowers here. The nice thing about these toilets here in New Zealand is that they're completely free. What do you think about Dunedin? The guy said it was the worst city in the... <laughs> no, I kind of want to... In New Zealand. I just want to punch that guy. It's like the nicest city I've been to in terms of a real city. It's almost like... It's like all of the really cool things about England. And like they're playing cricket and rugby. And Bike lanes. It's really nice. Bike lanes. The city's pretty clean. Even the like homeless vagrants are 
pretty well kept and very agreeable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, so everything about the guy, what the guy nice. said <laughs> is wrong. I mean, it's a beach town. Granted, the weather isn't great right now, but yesterday it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It probably rains a lot here in the winter, but that's not really that big of a deal. This would be a really nice place to live. But, this is the kind of town you'd like to uh, grow up in? Yeah, or like raise kids in. This would be a great place to have a family. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Then eat and they have an airport. It's a little remote. A little bit. But, I mean, if you're a pilot, it's still really remote. <laughs> but it's pretty safe. Yeah. What kind of a jet would you need to have to have access to the United States not having to fly? Oh, oh wow. You're putting that right in the car. What's our destination? Uh, I forgot already. <laughs> um, Teanu. Teanu, which is at the base of Milford Sound. Milford Sound. So and it should take us about three and a half hours. Yeah. We're always reaching our destination at eight, huh? So you think we're over the hump of getting our trip started and getting used to it? Yeah, I think what happened is we we basically like. The wall at so the beginning. Speak, at the beginning. So basically, what we did was we were going super, super fast, trying to get you know ball rolling, had all the energy pent up from like the initial like stuff, and today we hit critical mass and we've slowed our roll, and we're kind of in like we're in the marathon mode right now. We're marathoning. So we're in the groove. We're in the groove. We're taking things a little slower. In terms of taking smaller bites of things, we've recognized what's possible for the country, and we've isolated what we want to do to a few things. Yeah, which is nice for our third day. Mm -hmm. So, so if we had met up maybe in the future, two days before we leave, well, we didn't even know two days before we left we were going to be leaving. So I guess this is all that fly by the seat of our pants. So I literally called you three days before, huh? Yeah, I guess when you called me, we could have tried to find couch surfing accommodations in Queensland. Yeah. That would have made things easier. Yeah, because by the time the guy replied to me, he said he's already hosting people and that night. We found this Riverdale Hotel established in 1880. Yeah. I want to see how much it costs to stay here. It's a really small town. Wait, this was the hotel lobby? Hello. Is this the hotel lobby or where do we find the hotel lobby? Lobby. Like to find, uh, how much is the room here? Uh, um, that's all handled through on the other side with the bar. Oh, okay. So yeah. just walk down this way? Uh, yeah, through that door on the other side of the room and then take you through the bar. Okay, thanks. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we haven't seen you before. Uh, we were we were wondering how much does it cost for a room here? Um, I don't actually know how to deal with that, so okay. we'll have to wait for supervisors. Oh, she's going to come? Okay. Uh, do you want a drink in the meantime? <laughs> uh, no, we're just browsing, like seeing what... Do you have a, like a menu for that? Hi. Uh, they want fruits. We wanted to know how much are your rooms here? Um, so... Are you wanting two rooms? Uh, no, just one. Just one? Perfect. Yeah. Hey, again, a bottle of tea. Um, she goes at root two beds. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's $80 and then $30 extra for the other person. So $110. Okay, so $80 for... For one person and then $30 for the extra person. Oh, okay. Do you want to eat here? Uh, I want to ask them, what is this? What's Tom Relish? A uh, tomato relish. Okay, and yeah. then what's Jam Wrap? Uh, so it's like a chocolate donut. It's like a long one and it's got jam in the middle of it. Mm, it's okay. covered in sugar, yeah. And what about polenta chips? Oh, 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 pass. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> polenta really? chips? Um, yeah, no. I don't think we've ever served those. Oh, yes. really? Yes. <laughs> it's on the menu, but... <laughs> What's a vegetable? Uh, it's just a roll of veggies. 
but like a roll with veggies in it. I'm thinking it's more like a spring roll sort of thing. Okay, and what about a veggie patty? That's just like one veggie patty? Yes, yeah. I have one more question. What's white fish? What was that? White fish. White fish? White fish. Is that, I saw something else. White bait. White bait? Yes, yeah. It's like little fish thingies that we put into patties. Okay, and then yeah. fish. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah tiny little slippery thing. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Here at the Lumsden Inn and hotel, they have hotel rooms for about 100 and 10 New Zealand dollars. So that's the cost of a hotel if you're gonna stay here. It's pretty nice. Hey, you wanna go on that slide? <laughs> we found alpacas here. You can find all types of animals in New Zealand. This one's quite unusual. They probably imported it from South America from Patagonia. Of course they use it for its fur. Now I want to see if I can pat one. Hey little buddy. I think you're chipping the alpaca farm for one dollar. Yeah, terrible human. Okay. Hey buddy. He doesn't this like you. He doesn't like you, Jason. You think this is electric? It hasn't shocked you yet, so probably not. I don't think they like you. I think that the fact that you're trying to just throw... Th I think the fact that you're trying to rip this gas station off for one dollar by not buying alpaca food and trying to feed him grass clippings, which are obviously manure. That's gross. You should put that down. Yeah. Alright, come on, let's go. We reached Tenanu. Here's the boat stock area and the city is really modern with a lot of tourists and it's up that road.